Weird on Twitter. Oh, we are going hero. Okay, let's go. That's actually, so I think that the reason why hero, well, yeah. no, that's actually two. One is the fact that he can just click bounce and not have to worry about Yoshi X, but also he's a swordy. He has extra range and that extra range, even though hero's aerial is a little bit on the slower side, it might actually be uh, enough to wall him out effectively. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, he's going to be using a lot of these uh, exact family spells as much as he can in order to keep uh, Tattoo to at bay. Because once you get that down smash or, or, or egg or anything like that, you are just basically a cu you're, you're caught. You're basically trapped. So the thing you're going to be using that as much as he can to outspeed Yoshi, using Zappo to, out to outrange him. And of course, like you said, this sword can be a little bit more, uh, a little bit having more range. Yeah. One thing that's notable though, Vivi hasn't really had, like, the chance to do too much going into the down B menu. It took him, he got Accelerado and then ran away and used the Accelerado to fish even more for different options in that menu. Yeah, the, the, the most opportune, opportune time to use Accelerado against your opponent is, of course, one outspeeding them, but also using it out off the stage for a double fair, which is something that you always want to fish for with Accelerado. But otherwise, you can definitely just run to the other side of the stage that bounce coming in clutch. Run to the outside yeah. of the stage and just get mm. more menu stuff faster. Not yeah. faster, but we're going to be faster. And dropping that shield, he did take the damage, but at the very least, he avoided uh, getting his entire shield broken, which definitely would have been a stop. But ooh, I don't know how much it's going to matter. And he had zoom in the third in the third option. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Right in the, in the second pull up, he had zoom. Yeah, but well, he just, he is, it's, it's okay. Christmas time. It's okay, we have Psycho Part 2. Now we have Oomph, and we have Salado active. Yeah, and like, I, when you look at the way Tab Soda is trying to approach this matchup, it feels like he's going for a lot of these full hops, trying to be specifically above that zap range. Uh, but Vivi's pushing back and not really getting caught by the aerials. So many heal grabs. That's a hard thing to do against Yoshi, but Vivi is finding them nonetheless. Oh, he tried going for a, uh, a, I think, a forest smash right there. Gonna knock out, knock out by Yoshi, by Tab Soda. And here we go. We have a kind of a game of cat and mouse, which both characters are just trying to find a way to end their combos. And that forest is not going to take it. Tab Soda getting that up air into the egg. Breaking a lot of percentage on VV right now. Yeah, massive and damage. Yep. And dropping shield again. You can roll out of that. You can actually buffer the roll once you see the first hit. But, uh... Vivi just not really uh, reacting in time. That's going to be a stock for Tap Soda. Let's see if he can do anything oh. with it, though. You know, she's heavy. I was going to say with that threat that Vivi had thrown out, uh, that only probably had a 40% chance of actually hitting. <gasps> Whoa, Whoa! The egg jump! Such a clutch That's jump right so there. That's so funny. Stop. I, it's just like a slow, like, oh, let me jump over this snooze real fast. A little bit of a heal is going on right there. Only 11% healing. Here comes the egg yeah, roll. Oh, again with the egg roll. Already it was gotten actually a decent chunk of damage with it. Who says that's the worst move in the game? Me. I just don't <laughs> it's such a bad Is it quiet? Just me. I'd say yeah, that. It's me. It's so bad. Uh, just do Hocus Pocus. Just have fun. Yeah. You're at Xeno Saga XL. Come on. Just hit it. Imagine what will happen if you get big. Like, exactly. Like, or, or invincibility. Invisibility. Yeah. Yeah, it, okay, visibility I feel like would actually mess Vivi up. No, you, you can see yourself. There's a way to see your hero when he's invisible. What? what the, you're not invisible. You can still see him. He's invisible to you. To I you. See. But that's if we get a Hocus Pocus, but we definitely will not some of the yeah. Vivi's playing. Definitely a, be a, a much better hero player than I. Much safer. Can yeah, I help you? Can I help you? I'm looking to start that by Devin. What am I getting started that for? <laughs> Hocus Pocus is funny. Yeah, okay, it's worth noting. Oh, that was so good. I was about to say how, uh, you know, he was fishing for the up tilt, throwing it out a ton because he knows that Yoshi loves to be aerial. Yep. And as a response, Tap sort of started playing extremely grounded. But that's the nice thing about Hero, when you, especially when you have something like Psych Up or Oomph, you now have a kill throw available to you, and opponents Finally, can forget yeah. that because it's like you've been spending so much time just so scared of the up tilt. And then zoop, he just grabs you, chucks you up, and you're done. I love it. At least Hero has a grounded move, that kill up throw, and that up tilt, which is going to be a great anti hero psych up. Explained beautifully. See, my, my influence. I love just. <laughs> people know how about Hero and they talk about him so well. I love it. 
Yeah. Going right back to PS2. Okay, good up the outer shield. That's one option that we, uh, I feel like we're actually seeing a lot of decent outer shield options from BB. He's just reliably able to shield those moves from Tap Soda to the point where maybe Tap Soda should opt for, it's a little bit, you know, scary to do, but opt to be Eggly a little bit more. We haven't really seen it as an option. Definitely agreed. Uh, the way that BB is able to play this game, this, this matchup right now, is pretty much the best way to play it. Really have to just avoid a lot of Yoshi's one his smash attacks as so much and avoiding these uh, these areas that he's throwing out as well and also staying away from being off the ledge is so important time is really focused and it's like oh my god yeah oh great. the great delay and now he's glowing red this is real scary there we go fishing for that anti-air up tilt exactly what he needs in order to take out this stock at a really really reasonable percentage for himself oh All right. Got bounce and active. Bounce. That's really big. Also, bounce is really good, not just in the neutral, but in the advantage, because Yoshi loves to egg out of disadvantage to help cover him getting back to the ledge. And look at that. Yeah, he's not able to do it. Instead, he has to double jump right in Vivi's face, and he is able to maintain pressure as a result. Definitely waiting for some more of, like, he just, maybe at this point, he's not even fishing for buffs. Okay, never mind. That's funny. I'd be talking, and you do the exact opposite. <laughs> But as I was saying, he's not he's not really fishing for as many buffs. They've been fishing for a lot more of these kill moves, like Kaboom, for example, which we saw Yoshi survive at a really high percentage, so that'd be really, really dismantle. Oh, yeah, there's the egg laying into down smash. Yep, I'll take it. I will gone thwack. He was close enough. I will gone thwack. <laughs> Honestly, the real power move is getting hit by thwack at, like, over 100 and then not dying from it. Is there, uh, it's always percentage based, yes. right? Is there a it's, point? it's based on hero percentage and opponent percentage. So at that point, if hero is at like zero and they're at like 150, there maybe it's like a 40 percent chance. If hero is at this percentage and this percentage, it's, ba it's basically almost guaranteed. Yeah, well, it's not a thwack that does him in. Instead, nope. it's what we saw in that game one. The up throw is just such a... The fact that at those kill percents, as Yoshi, you have to worry about the up throw and the up tilt. It means that, like, every time you try to get in, it's kind of a 50-50 where you lose if you get wrong. So right now, we, what we have at this right now is also Kofriz, the, uh, the the biggest fire that, we, uh, that Hero has in his neutral, beast, in his neutral collection. Oh... Oh, what a down tilt. Actually getting the two frame and another one of those down tilts, but it's enough to make it back, but with almost no MP left for Eevee. I thought he was dead. <laughs> Definitely thought he was dead, but getting a Tuka swoosh into a swoosh was super, super helpful for Eevee's recovery. I knew, I knew he was going to fish for Zoom at some point, but I'm glad he just went for the swoosh method. Uh, Cap stops it now at 37%, kind of counting. Not entirely unwinnable for him unless he keeps off the stage and now we have vv complete powered up this is a shield breaker setup we have going Woo! oh again well, oh you're crazy yeah. again with the kazap oh you're crazy oh, you uh crazy. you called it you called I it i definitely said in psych up shield breaker what vv do down there into a shield break does that break full shield yes oh yum <laughs> yum yes it do be breaking full shield Oh man, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he really, he really did that, and then the kazap, which he did last. Uh, well, was it this? Yeah, he did it last Wednesday or this Wednesday, whatever. Hang on. I also He's saw him do that the Wednesday before. Uh, he, uh, bro, is just, just. I love how his like new it. like guaranteed is just shield break into kazap, because you never see kazap. I love kazap. I be throwing it out wherever I want. You never expect it. You never see it coming, bro. Oh, and then. Yep.